yeah i just wanted to give you some tips on how to organize your wedding so stay tuned for that So first things first, it will be a good idea if you get a diary or something or a notebook and just start writing down um, everything about your wedding. I'm this kind of person, I like to write everything down, I like to plan my life, you know, with writing things down, taking notes and all that. So here I started with the wedding expenses so just a, a list of things that we're gonna need for the wedding so that's just a brief of what you need for the wedding really so for example photographers dj venue church and all these kind of things and i think you can set your budget as well so first thing you want to do get a diary write down your wedding expenses and set your budget and then tip number two um, set the date we still I spoke with my priest and um, yeah and he gave me three options now I'm just waiting for my dad to come back to me to confirm that he can do, he can come on the date that we are thinking to do the wedding for. So I'm just dating, I'm just waiting for that. So yes, number two, set your date. Find your church, find the venue depending on you know how many people um, you are inviting so you want to find the appropriate venue yeah and for now these are the three major things you have to do hi guys so um, just to update you on uh, where we are with the, the wedding so we chose the date and we confirmed with the priest on the date and based on that we looked for the venue and i made a quick google search and i found a venue that is near the church it's about 20 minutes drive from the um from the church which which is quite convenient because you don't want to be all over the place anyway we found the venue and uh, we could and the venue comes with the decoration with the glassware the, the cutlery the plates and everything because that can be another fee which is ridiculous to me and we chose to get our external caterers so that's something you want to ask if you want your own caterers you you should ask the venue if they are doing that so we have our own caterers it's just a, a caterer we found and we really liked we could have chosen to do it to, to do the food with the venue because they can provide their own food and everything but we chose to get our own external caterers which is a bit more expensive but for the quality the food is very important for us so we want to satisfy our guests and ourselves obviously because I love food and I want the food to be up to you know quality and it's good to ask if they can provide decoration and all that because that's another headache so with the venue we get in the decoration as well which is amazing we get um, big speakers we get lighting and some venue that will even charge about for the lighting which is ridiculous so we found everything on that venue the drinks is an extra thing as well like here you can't just get something that will include entirely everything everything is just you know you have to pay for every little thing unfortunately it's not like cyprus you could get you know the food the drinks the venue 
all inclusive and in a very affordable price but anyway we are not in Cyprus so what can I do and that was one of the most difficult things to find because they are so expensive I was doing I had a list of venues and I was inquiring sending emails requesting for their prices the prices were ridiculous and they don't even include anything it's just you hire the place for like four grand or five or six grand and another thing on Fridays and Saturdays the price goes up it's more expensive some venues are like a thousand or two thousand pounds more for Friday and Saturdays so Sunday is a bit better and on the weekdays but you don't really want to do your wedding on a weekday well maybe you don't mind but we mind it so yeah and the next and what we did we agreed on everything and um, we've been sent the contract with the, the venue and the caterers so you need to give a deposit so this is what we did that's why you need to be entirely sure that you like the venue and that you your wedding you know will, will go ahead in this kind of in in our case the only reason that the, the wedding wouldn't go ahead is because of covid but i wish and i'm praying that this vaccine would do its miracle its job and uh, let us do this wedding because it's just so stressful we have to keep you know postponing and rescheduling and it's just so tiring and having to do all this work giving all this money for deposit and risking to lose it it's just very stressful so yeah and you have to ask them about their policy as well when it comes to covid like if things don't go you know if we need to reschedule what, what's your policy can I get my money back or can we reschedule or, and all these kind of things so you don't want to be in this um, terrible situation that you lose money and you pay for nothing yeah so you have to ask those questions and and next thing you need to find the photographer we found the photographer even before the venue and that's another thing with photographer you want a photographer and a videographer and not many services will provide those two together so for example you get photographer and then you need to search for a videographer and it's quite expensive as well because let's say a photographer wants a thousand two and videographer another thousand two that's two thousand four pounds that's a lot and if you can find a photographer that does both you can it can come it can be cheaper so let's say i was lucky enough i did my research and i found a, a photographer that does both photography and videography and it's quite affordable as well so i'm very happy with that and i booked them i asked them about their policy in regards to covid and they told me if the, the web doesn't go ahead for any reason then um I can give you the money back which is a very small amount they only charge 10% of the whole amount and they told me we can just do a, a, a small shoot or we can you can use this money to do something take baby pictures or whatever which is very nice of them and they can change also the date for free they won't charge you to change the date so that's the kind of people you need that's the kind of team you need for your wedding people that are, are understand so we were planning to do the wedding in Cyprus as I said and we booked a photographer there and he's refusing to give us our deposit money back so read because based on the contract that money is is non-refundable so read the contract always carefully that's a very important thing to remember because you can really get in trouble for that you can really get yourself in a difficult situation and you don't have a leg to stand on you can't say oh 
you know, I want my money back. Well, you sign a contract, it's signed, and this is what it says, and you agree to that, so it can't be changed. So that's something you need to bear in mind. Hello, guys, and um, yeah, I've started with this video months, months ago. It was about December when me and my, my husband decided to do a wedding in the UK. Now is one month before a wedding. We are still doing it, even though we thought that there is the, all the restrictions would be lifted by May, which we booked the wedding for, but it's not. We can only have 30 guests, so we spoke with the venue which they only gave us a thousand pound discount you know which is doesn't really make sense because we booked the venue for 150 people so now we are doing 30 people only so that's not even half of what of the people and it should be a half of it and it's not they just gave us a discount of thousand pound but anyway whatever let's forget about that at least we have a venue and the venues here in general are very expensive now we are looking basically more of the details i would say so we've sent our invitations to our people and um and yeah i've i've done online invitations by the way and there are some websites that you can do for free I did mine on Photoshop because I know you know how to do it. Philippine imitation, I've studied graphic design, so it would be a shame if I didn't know how to do an imitation. So yeah. And yeah, we've sent everything online, so that's that was another way for us to save money. We didn't have to print anything and um, you know and pay. And one more thing that we added because we can only have 30 people. For our people overseas or people who won't be able who won't we can't invite at the end of the day and won't come they will be able to view our wedding virtually so basically I'm gonna have one person I'm gonna delegate one person to be filming the whole uh, you know wedding the ceremony and I created a group on Facebook and I put the people that I want them to you know I've, I've included the people that I want for them to watch a wedding so that's what we did this past week I booked my facials I booked for my um, I found my makeup and hair stylist make sure you have them I you know I stayed a little bit last minute but I found one and I found it on this website called hitched and it's a website it's all about wedding you can find suppliers catering everything so i can link that down below as well so i got my makeup artist from there she does makeup and hair so we're not gonna have bridesmaids but we're gonna have a flower girls to my stepdaughter and my uh, husband's uh, niece's daughter so because we bought the dresses ages ago i just wanted to make sure that they still fit in those dresses which they do uh, and I bought the dress for my daughter as well for my little Iris which she's gonna wear she's gonna wear that as well I found my cake people as well yes we booked for a cake and um, and what else let me let me tell you also finalize your guest list you know make sure you ask people if they're coming and you know it's especially now with the restrictions it's good to know who is gonna be able to come because if someone doesn't come you can invite someone else instead you know yeah we have our DJ we have our fed wedding favors we brought some wedding favors from Ghana we have our wedding cake oh we need to go to the church which arrange appointment for that as well we're gonna go to the, the church uh, take the documents that needed um for the ceremony and uh 
and yeah when it comes to with flower girls i need to get their baskets and and my bouquet as well my flowers that i'm gonna be you know holding and we have our engagement photo shoot this month and yeah we need to kind of sort out we need to make sure we have an accommodation for the people that are coming abroad so booking.com they have very affordable and nice places so yes this is where we are in general a month before the wedding i couldn't be more excited now i'm actually getting a bit more excited i was a bit you know on the flu just worrying about other things but now that is we are near the wedding i'm getting more excited and i can't wait for it you know make sure your dress is um it fits you and you don't need any alterations and all that i got my veil because i didn't have and i'm still wearing the wedding dress that i made last year you know and i'm gonna wear that and um yeah i need to buy my other garments my jewelries that will go with the dress and um we're still deciding if we're gonna wear a um a second dress you know a second outfit for the venue we're still deciding on that but as long as you have your wedding dress that's you know something that you can decide with your husband who is gonna take us to the wedding like cars you know we might need to hire or if you have friends that with a nice cars or whatever you can you know ask from your friends to take you that will be more affordable to do for facials look at groupon right i book three sessions of some treatment which i hope is good for 30 about 30 pounds something like that you can find very good deals on groupon so yeah if you're in the uk or i don't know where else they use groupon to be honest so apart from that i think that's that's so i'm gonna be filming some vlogs you know um showing you how i'm preparing and what we're doing and especially near the time of the wedding yes and i just wanted to show you this it's like a I'm, I'm gonna try and find this because it's very helpful to help you uh, organize your wedding so it's like a wedding to-do list it has some little details as well it's basically it's all the details you need for your wedding so now it's about three to five weeks right before the wedding so it says confirm ceremony structure with officiant so yeah we're gonna go to the priest <laughs> organize a rehearsal rehearsal dinner we don't really do rehearsals we might go to the venue to you know we're gonna go to the venue basically to talk about the the last you know how the tables will be set up especially now with the restrictions and all that and then you have the beauty treatments haircut color facial yep done that i've got everything booked uh, pick up and check sizing of wedding rings. We have wedding rings as well from last year uh, From our court wedding, so we're gonna have the same ones Pick up wedding dress and store carefully. So this one I think that should be a long time ago, you know And I've got my wedding dress advice venue or final guest numbers yep that's well it's 30 anyway we can't do more than that so decide reception sitting plan that's what i said we're gonna go to the venue and all that confirm menu with the reception venue caterer we decided on the menu long time ago so we're just gonna confirm when it's nearer the time and when we are about to pay because we have to pay for the caterers i think three weeks before the wedding we're gonna finalize that but i think I'm, I'm 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 up to date with everything that i have to do so after that it's just one to two weeks to go and and yeah 
that's very useful so if i find it i'm gonna link it down below should i have a wedding during a pandemic a pandemic to be honest yes for us is very handy so having only 30 people to invite you know you can only choose your very best people and and that's a great excuse when people ask you like oh why didn't you invite me you can say well sorry but i only had to invite my you know closest people yeah i'm gonna end this video here i hope the tips i gave you were helpful to you and and and, and yeah we're gonna speak very very soon so bye for now